Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphanine. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you could, please click that like button, turn it into a rocket, and send it to the moon. So today, we have a request from one of our very, very precious members. Thank you so much for your request, by the way. And thank you even more for being a channel member. And the, re the request was to make a video about my recommendations for cold wallets. Now, there are a lot of good cold wallets on the market, okay? You have your ledgers, then you have your companies like Trezor, okay, Trezors. These are very, very good, but I do have a favorite. I do have a favorite, and, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll really say it's a, it's a type of technology I won't even just say it's the company. The type of technology is air-gapped. Air-gapped cold wallet. Why do I say that? I like it air-gapped because what that means is it keeps your keys and your crypto, uh, it, it, it keeps your keys off the internet. My favorite cold wallet is an air-gapped cold wallet called the Elipal Titan. And under features, it says this to give you a little bit more clarity. Air gapped, keep remote attacks away. Keep remote attacks away. Now, a lot of the other cold wallets, and they're very good by the way, they have to be connected to the internet, to, to the computer at some point in order for you to use them. With the Elipal Titan and air gapped technology, you don't have to connect your, your cold wallet to the internet ever. It's all done through QR codes. It's very, very secure. So let me continue reading here. It says complete network isolation, offline cold storage, built with no online components or ports. I love that. I don't want my keys. I don't want anything that I have, especially when it comes to the banking coins. I don't want any of that being accessible from any mobile device or internet at all whatsoever. I need Fort Knox for my crypto. I need the, the best security. I need armed guards for my crypto. And this is, <laughs> this is a form of that, right? This is the best in security that you can have for crypto. Um, it says, can never be connected to the internet. Absolute protection against remote and online attacks. Private keys stored will never touch the internet. I love that. I absolutely love that. I don't want it. Listen, I don't want anyone to be able to ever touch my keys or know my keys. Now, so with that, okay, let's go into some of the, the, the security measures that I love about the Elipal Titan. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be an Elipal Titan. It doesn't. You can just look up air-gapped cold wallets, okay? And, and do your research a little bit. There may be some that you like better than the Elipal Titan. The point that I'm trying to make is the technology of air-gapped. Keeps your keys off that internet. Keeps your keys from being accessible to remote attacks. And that's what we want. We want the highest of security where only you are in control of your keys. Only you are in control of your crypto. And I love every little bit of that. I don't have to ever worry. When they, I've seen so many videos, people saying they, they got hacked or they got attacked. And when all of this is going on, I'm sitting there and I'm just relaxed because I know my stuff is nowhere near the internet. It, it cannot be attacked. Okay, so... Let's continue on here. It says anti-disassembly and anti-tamper uh, protection against physical and supply chain attacks. So it says it cannot be dissembled without leaving serious damages, preventing supply chain attacks. The chip will delete every data when it detects a breach. So if anybody tries to, let's say someone broke into your house and they got a hold of your Elipal Titan and they're trying to pry it open, I don't know, some, some sort of archaic means to open the device. The chip will delete. As soon as it detects it's being breached, it will delete everything. I love that, this company. I love what they're doing. And I'll also say this, um, I've never had a problem with them. I've moved crypto here and there. 
no problem whatsoever. Um, but one thing I did notice is because it utilizes QR codes, obviously, obviously, and I, I, and I say this because I've read this in a lot of comment sections, people are like, well, I tried to scan and the scan wouldn't go through. You have to keep your screen clean. <laughs> We're pressing these buttons and you're getting grease on your screen. You get it, you get yourself a nice uh, screen cleaner, which I have a big bottle of it for my cell phone and, and my computer. I also can use it for the Elapel Titan. Spray that screen cleaner, that, that, that screen cleaner on there, wipe it off and keep your screen smudge free. And, and every single time, I've never had a problem with transactions going through or, or a QR code scanning at all whatsoever. So just keep the screen clean, okay? Uh, so you never have a scanning issue. Uh, so d going back to what I was saying before, so it even deletes all the data if anybody tries to manually get into your device. That's security of the highest level. I love it. I take great comfort in knowing that I have a few of my coins. I, I try to diversify a little bit. I don't want everything in one pot but I have some of my most precious coins on that device and that nobody could ever touch it. It's very secure. I love, I absolutely, absolutely love that. And so my recommendation, this is not financial advice. This, I'm not a financial advisor. You have to make your own decisions, okay? But, uh, and I know you know this, but we say this for, you know, liability purposes. But what I would say is just do a, a, a a little bit of research on air gapped cold wallets because there might be something better than the Elapal Titan. There might be something better. And let me tell you, if I found something better, I'd use that. I'm always updating myself on technology. If there's a new technology comes out, it's better. A company that comes out and is doing it better, I'm going to move to that new technology. Okay? Uh, so just do your research on air gap technology. So here we go. Okay, let's go into this section here on the website. It says trustless trust full control, sign what you see. It says you don't have to trust Elipal or anyone, but you can trust the cold wallet. Elipal's QR codes are open data format. It is public, verifiable, and offline. Only QR codes are used to transfer data uh, from the cold wallet. The QR code format is controlled, verifiable, and transparent. You can be sure that private keys, that the private keys are never transmitted through the QR code. Supports uh, importing mnemonics and private keys from other wallets. You do not need to trust keys generated by Elipal. I, I thoroughly enjoy like, just reading that from this company and all of the assurances. I have never had a problem with them. I hope I never have a problem with them. Um, and so that is my favorite cold wallet. As I said before, Ledger is great. If you want to go with a Ledger, Ledger is, is, is a great cold wallet to have, but it's not air gapped. Uh, Trezor is another great cold wallet to have, but also I believe that one is not air gapped either. I prefer air gap technology. I don't ever want my keys touching that, touching the internet ever. Um, that is the choice that I have made. So, <laughs> I hope that was informative. Uh, it says, here's a coin list, okay? It says there's they have 40 blockchains and 10,000 plus tokens supported. New assets are added every week. That I really don't concentrate on because they have the coins that I need, so I don't know what else they offer. I know they have the coins that I want to store on, on the Elipal Titan, and, uh, and I am thoroughly satisfied with that. Let's go into battery life, okay? I've seen some people in the comment sections on Amazon and other comment sections on video reviews of the Elipal Titan, and they complain about the battery, battery life. I don't believe the battery life is bad. However, I don't keep the cold wallet on. I only turn it on when I need to make do a transaction. Then I turn it off. And the battery does very, very well, in my opinion, when I need it. So I, I've never had an issue with the battery. Um, my suggestion, you could do whatever you please, of course, but this is what I this is what I prefer to do. I only I turn it on when I need to use it, and when I'm done, I turn it off, preserve the battery, and um, it always works out great. So 
Now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? Once again, thank you to the member. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for your request. I greatly appreciate everybody out there on the channel. And I hope that this was uh, 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 informative. I did the best that I could. And um, I have always enjoyed talking to everybody out there. And I greatly appreciate your time. So now that you have that information, <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with it. So until next time, let's get to the money.